Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shane and today we are back with the Pregnancy Diaries. It's been a couple of weeks. It's been a couple of weeks. What week are we on? <laughs> um, I believe we're on week 13, but I just want to confirm that. Yes, we are on week 13. Oh my goodness, I am 13 weeks and two days pregnant today. <laughs> Oh wow, uh, three weeks ago? Wow, I, I'm, I'm sick. I guess our last pregnancy diaries was three weeks ago and I apologize. I know I ended up posting uh, a quick story explaining that my pregnancy diaries would be a couple weeks combined. It's just been, <laughs> we have a little bit to talk about today, but before we even get into that, let's see what is going on with the baby. We are gonna go back um, to week 11. We're going to do 11, 12, and 13. So on week 11, the fingernails of my baby, it says if you could touch the little fingers, you could feel the tiny fingernails are beginning to form. This week, blood will begin circulating around between the uterus and fetus and the placenta will start functioning. That was it for week 11. Week 12, your baby's liver and spleen, spleen are now producing red blood, uh, producing blood cells, and the pancreas is beginning to release digestive enzymes. Your baby is now able to bend, stretch, kick, and even make faces. <laughs> that was super exciting. And the kidneys are now producing urine from the amniotic fluid that he or she ingests. That was it for week 12. So this week is, uh, the baby's skin is very translucent at this point and all the tiny veins in the body are visible. The lungs continue to develop and your baby is practicing breathing with the amniotic fluid. Your baby's arms are now proportionate to the body, but the legs are still somewhat shorter. And that is it. All right. <sighs> Let's let's get into this week. We went to two doctor's appointments. I mentioned in my last pregnancy diaries that I was going to need blood work. So I said the next um <laughs> the next pregnancy diaries I was filming, I was going to bring my phone around and um record the experience. Oh boy, so today is the day that I have to go get this done. And I'm so scared, but um we actually just found Ella a dentist and got her, her all signed up for that. So that was like one of the main things kind of stressing me out. Um, and I will film the, the other part of my pregnancy diaries when we get home, but I have to go get my blood work done. And I'm trying not to think about it cause I'm not scared at all, but I you am. You already got your blood work already. Not right, not yet girlfriend. Uh, you went to your dentist and you go already dentist doesn't do that sweetie all right if i wasn't already terrified enough now we are in a hospital <laughs> trying, trying to find a place oh my god so we did obviously get it done um my blood work ended up coming back fine they didn't find anything um it, it was really hard though like this time i loved i adored i adored the lady that i went to however she was so understanding of my fear of getting my blood drawn it's, it's not even like I can't say I have a fear of needles because even though I am not happy to get shots done and I can feel my heart start to race when I need shots or like finger pricks and stuff it's so much different just when it comes to having my blood drawn there is something about that that just scares me to death um and the lady was super understanding they ended up giving me like I don't know if she was like a higher up nurse or wh whatever they call them with no disrespect. Um, but they ended up giving me a woman who is really good, I guess, at taking it from the hand. And they use what is called a butterfly needle. If it's being taken from the hand, it's a little bit smaller. And when like it went into my hand, it didn't even really hurt at all. And she did it really quick. Um, they took about six vials, which they took that same amount when Ella was born. And it took about like... I don't know, no more, no more than five minutes, probably like, I don't know, two to three minutes. Um, so it was a pretty quick process. And then I went, I think, a, I think a week later, I can't remember. There was like a week later where I went to the doctors and I had to have like a full body exam. So I went and they took my weight. Uh, they did a pap smear, which is always fun. Um, they did a breast examination. I am currently in the OBGYN. Um, we're doing like a full exam today. We're doing like a pap smear, breast exam. Um, they just took my weight um, up 
like a pound from last time. Last time I was 114, now I'm 115. So I think I could be gaining a little bit more weight, but with all the morning sickness I was having, maybe that has something to do with it, but I'll let you guys know how it goes. I've only gained, I mean, I might've gained a little bit more since that doctor's visit, because again, it has been a couple weeks since then, but I started my pregnancy at 114 pounds and I'm only 115 <laughs> at the moment. Um, and I feel like a lot of that, I was having a difficult time gaining weight because I was so sick. Through, technically, we're in our second trimester. I should have probably started the pregnancy diary saying that we are in a second trimester. So through my first trimester, I was just so incredibly sick that I had a hard time holding anything down. So I definitely have quite a bit of weight to gain between me, the baby, the placenta, all that stuff. Um, I think I need to gain a total of about 34 pounds, I was told. Um, they also made sure, you know, I was taking my prenatal vitamins, which I have been. And um, as far as the morning sickness goes, I think we're most mostly over the hump. Um, I can go like a long stretch of time without having to get sick, like over the period of days um but there'll be the occasional like actually this morning there'll be certain foods that just kind of don't sit right in my stomach and I think it it still is milk isn't sitting right in my stomach because I feel like every time I have cereal um I just feel a, kind of gross afterwards and I don't necessarily like have to throw up after I eat milk or eat cereal every time, but I always just kind of feel icky. And then there'll be t some times where it's just like not sitting in my stomach right and I really have to throw up to feel better. Um, as far as my energy levels go, I, <laughs> I have none. I have no energy at all. That's probably why I haven't been able to film. Like, I want to crawl into this bed right now and just go back to sleep. It doesn't matter if I'm getting 12 hours of sleep or 6 hours of sleep. I feel the exact same way waking up. I'm immediately tired. The other thing that's happening is my headaches are a little bit more frequent. Um, throughout my first trimester, sorry, my card filled up, so I kind of lost my train of thought a little bit. I was talking about my headaches. Um, throughout my first trimester, I was getting pretty bad migraines. Um, now it's like, it seems like I have kind of a headache every single day, but it's like kind of in the temples. Um, I'm also finding that I wake up and like my nose is completely clogged and I don't know if I'm just getting sick, but it just feels like almost like sinus pressure like all right here just hurts um up here will hurt and i feel like i have to clear up my nose quite a bit um especially first thing in the morning and the only other thing that i've been really experiencing that is sort of new based on my other pregnancy diaries well actually two things um one is I'm getting cramps, like I'm getting cramps in my lower stomach and that was brought up in my last um my last doctor's visit when they did the whole examination and she said like does it feel like stretching I said it's like in my lower abdomen and it does feel like stretching it also kind of feels a little bit like menstrual cramping and she said that was normal now if you're getting cramping along with bleeding any sort of bleeding you want to contact your um, doctor but I haven't had any of that so there was no a uh, reason to raise alarm or anything like that. I'm always trying to compare this pregnancy to my last pregnancy and I know that's something I shouldn't do because every pregnancy is different but I also am trying to remember like did I have similar experiences like just to kind of calm me down a little bit you know like just relax this pregnancy is going good i have no energy at all um but it's you know it's going it's going well the last thing that i want to bring up and i just want to bring it up briefly because i know i've talked about this so much on my channel throughout the years but i kind of did a little bit of research on it because i feel like super depressed <laughs> like um, I've always struggled with depression and anxiety, but like, I don't want to be around anybody. I don't want anybody's company, but at the same time, like, then I'll feel super lonely and I've been like, I've been like pushing my husband away. Like, I don't want like any affection, like whatsoever. I'm just like, uh, like, and it's not even him. It's just like, I just don't. I just don't, like, I, I just want to go to bed. I've been going to bed every night super early. Some nights I fall asleep right away, but, like, last night I tossed and turned until, like, 1230. 
So some nights are easy to fall asleep, some nights are not easy to fall asleep. Um, but then I looked into it and it seems like when you get pregnant, those feelings of depression and, and anxiety can be heightened, which yeah, lucky me because I already dealt with them. You know, I always deal with them and I've dealt with them my entire life. And um, it, it just kind of sucks because like when you have, like when you're not pregnant, I'm not saying that this is healthy and in no way do I recommend it, but like you kind of have like vices you can turn to. Like if you're having a really bad day, like you could have, you know, if, if glasses of wine is your cup of tea, then you could have a glass of wine. That's not really my thing, but like I, you know, really, I whiskey or whatever I enjoy you know what I mean you could have like a glass of that and it would just like sort of take the edge off and again I'm not recommending that and I know that that is just like a band-aid but trying to deal with like all the I feel like I want to cry right now like oh my god the mood swings have been ridiculous too like I'm like my eyes are tearing up I think it's just because this is the first time I've, I've actually like expressed how I'm feeling <laughs> right now like not even to tea um I don't know, I just feel like, I just, I wish I had, like, something to relax me or, like, I don't know. Like, I know a lot of people, like, turn to their hobbies when they're feeling stressed and will, you know, will, like, feel better and stuff. And that's what I've been doing. Like, I've been trying to record a lot. I've been trying to post videos, like, if not every other day, every couple of days. Like, I've been trying to keep myself busy with recording and, and, and filming and stuff but like sometimes it just gets repetitive and you just want to do something else that's a little less like that's a little more mindless you know and I've kind of turned back to gaming a little bit because when I was a teenager and I was super depressed um I always turned to World of Warcraft and that was like my thing that you know like I would play for literal hours because you know all I did was go to school and work and then that was it you know I didn't have other responsibilities so I was trying to think back to like what I used to be able to do to like calm myself down or like kind of take me out of that space like I kind of go back to gaming so like I re-downloaded The Sims 4, I re-downloaded Minecraft, I've been playing Skyrim on my phone like stuff like that but it's not really doing what it used to do for me like I still enjoy it but it's not I don't know it's not um filling that void that I'm trying to fill I guess and um I'm not really sure like what else to do to be honest with you I'm just like I don't know like I was invited to go out to um to do something tomorrow with a friend and I've just like like it's not that I don't want to but like people are pissing me off <laughs> like I don't want to go out in public I don't want to go out in public because it just seems Oh, hello, that scared me. Um, like, even today, going grocery shopping, just, like, being out and being surrounded by, like, just people who didn't give a crap, just, like, super inconsiderate people that would just, like, oh, hello, that would just, like, stand in your way or, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I'm probably just overthinking everything, but I'm just, like, super annoyed with the public. <laughs> and I just don't want to go out and, like, deal with anybody. I really don't. And, um, I, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't, I, I had a hard time. I kept going, like, back and forth whether I should record this week or save it till next week. But, you know, this is a part of my pregnancy and a part of just, like, who I am. Um, so I'm not, like, ashamed to show it. I just, I don't like putting out, like, depressing videos. And I hope this isn't depressing. I hope it's informative of what's going on in my head. Um, like, right now I have a headache. I'm just, like, I'm tired of not feeling good like I just feel like crap every day whether it's the headaches or just like how my stomach just feels super uncomfortable like I, I'm just uncomfortable and it doesn't help that it's been like a hundred degrees for the past couple of weeks um I just, I want to, I'm like at that point where I just like don't want to get out of bed, but I have to, like I have a toddler, you know what I mean? I can't just wallow in my own feelings, you know, I have to get up and I have to be active and I have to do stuff to keep her active and I have to make her lunch, I have to make her dinner, I have to, you know, do all the things that mothers have to do and there's just some days that I just don't want to, obviously having nothing to do with her whatsoever, it's just like... 
I just feel like not doing, I don't want to get out of bed sometimes. I just really, really, really don't. And I am absolutely sweating right now because I turned my AC off to film this video. But um, anyways, that that is pretty much it. Um, I'm not going to keep rambling forever. And this, honestly, uh, I'm getting really, really warm in here. So I love you guys. Hopefully next week um, we'll feel a little bit better. We have, uh, what, 26 more weeks to go? So <laughs> we are, um, we're getting there. We, yeah. I have 26 weeks and five days left, so basically 27 weeks to go. Um, we have talked about my gender reveal because I'll, um, we scheduled my gender, my ultrasound for September 5th. Uh, and I don't want to know right away because when I found out right away with Ella, it was really hard to keep it a secret. So I told my mom that this time I want to give her an envelope if she was okay with it. And she agreed to help me do like a little gender reveal party. Nothing crazy, but I just want to have my family over and I just want to find out together. I don't care. I literally don't care what it is, you know, like... Technically, like, I would like a son for the experience. Like, I've always wanted to have a son. But if I have another daughter, I am, I'm not going to be disappointed. I'm not going to be anything but over the moon. I'm going to cry either way, whether it's pink or blue. So, um, the, the thing is, though, we had to push my gender. So, technically, I'll have the envelope on September 5th. But my gender reveal party will not be until the 22nd of September. So we'll still find out in September. Um, we're gonna do it on the 15th, but then I found out that my little cousin's birthday party is on the 15th and I didn't want family to have to decide to go to one or the other and I wanted to be there for my cousin, so we pushed it back um, another week and uh, I'm super excited, but I know when September comes I'm also gonna be really, really antsy. Now that we're in the second trimester, I'm hoping that I'll start to feel a little bit, bit better. I hope my energy starts going up. I just start, I need to eat better as well. I know that's a huge thing um, on my energy and my mood swings. So hopefully again, I'll have a little bit of a better week next week. I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. Oh, I almost forgot to show my belly really quick. <laughs> Sorry about the lighting again. I'm, it's getting dark. Um, but I'm clear. Oh my God, this, this is not going to work. <laughs> there we go. That's better. I am clearly showing. I am showing. Um, there it is. My super uncomfortable belly. <laughs> it's super uncomfortable. I can't suck in. Ugh, that's me sucking in. Can't do it guys. It's there for sure. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go edit this video. Again, don't forget to leave that like. And while you're down there, if you don't want to miss any new videos, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.